Use effect hook is basically the widest used React hook in React functional component, and for a good reason because it allows us to kind of manage entire life cycle of a particular component. But do you know that it accepts a return function as well, using which we can clean up what we have done last time? It will super useful if you want to kind of unsubscribe from a particular API or you want to remove some event listener, which will eventually make your application faster and prevent us from data leakage. It's really hard to visualize this, but let me try to show you what I'm trying to say. So here I have a React use effect hook and it, as we all know that it accepts an arrow function. Oops, if I can do it quickly. Okay, and in dependency array, I will pass my count over here so that we can see what we are doing. And we will just print out a simple statement which will say, uh, let's say some side effect. Awesome. So now if I try to change the count, thing it will re-render our component and you can see some side effect is being printed out which means that this function is running but let's say instead of a simple log statement what if we attach some event listener and subscribe to an api then we have to clean up what we have done last time otherwise it will kind of a attach with the app component which which makes it slow eventually so here i can pass a, a function inside the return statement and here i can uh, kind of unsubscribe from a mini API or remove the event listener. But for the demo purpose, I'm just out a simple statement cleanup. Now, when I try to change my value, you can see cleanup is being printed out first, which means that React is basically removing what we have done last time. And then it's actually printing out or handling the side effect. 